Wow, look at this one. There's a thing there. I can't remember the last time I had a cheap, shitty Chinese product. Next time, maybe we're like take off the tag. We have a lot of fucking articles on here. So on the price tag, it says amphibious snow cat, but then on the on the left side, how do I show this to you? Looks like we're gonna have to sit. And then it says Zegan underneath, if you couldn't read the first fucking one. It's got these little icons that look like they're from like an iPhone app. It says Caterpillar wheel, double high strength motor, and high strength shock. This is a high strength video because we're high strength people. Then it says Rock Rover. I like how they use like Mercedes vehicle knockoff here. It says on land, on water, and even snow. I think they spelt land wrong. Look right here. That says Lano. They spelled land wrong. They put Lano. There's no A. That's not a D. Because then if that's a D, then that would be DN. It can go forward, back off, turn left, turn right, rock climbing, precise handling. You have an image here of the controller, but it, it says gun type remote control. There's a dog tag here. And when I first glanced at it, when I first picked it up, I actually thought it was telling me warranty. 24 months of warranty or something like that. The dog tag says month 24 year. Cool style, a wild drive. Except as you can see here, they forgot to put a fucking space. Oh, there it is again. Month 24 a year, by the way. I don't know why that's so special. Like they're just hanging it over the fucking top. All right, so I think what happens is this is RC Pro. The company that makes it is Zegan, and this is a rock rover, but RC Pro is like the one that distributes the shit, I guess. We haven't even gotten in the fucking box yet. This is really awkward to fucking move this shit around. You have a fucking slider here. It looks like an iPhone app slider. Like, let me turn the fucking volume down. There we go. Basically the description of this vehicle. The main features are non-bearing body, four-wheel drive, higher chassis, better ground tires, except this doesn't have tires, it has tracks, and rough and sturdy bumper. Off-road vehicles can not only adapt to various road conditions, but also gives people a rough heroic feeling. Wow, zoom in on that text. I might get a rough feeling, like the vehicle's like really rough and rugged. I don't get heroic. If you didn't know, it's a, it's a simulation car shell. I'm, I'm not even, at this point, I'm not gonna show you guys. I hope you believe me. If you don't believe me, that's your fucking problem. Rubber tread with high grip strength. So we got more high grip strength. Oh, more high strength individual suspension system. Because again, we're high strength people and we're feeling heroic. Are we fucking done yet? Can we open the, oh, for three different types of chargers. Charger A is a wall charger. Charger B is USB charger, which is the one I have because it's check marked. Then it says not charger C. So wouldn't they have checked not charger C because I didn't get charger C? Am I injecting? logic in, into something that just logic can't be injected into. I can't believe the amount of icons and text and images on this fucking thing. It just never ends. Is there more retarded shit on the inside of the box? Probably. The rechargeable battery can only be charged under the adult guardianship. Is that a word? Supervision. Could have used that word. Keep wire and plug away from the water. What wire and plug? Don't touch the running car. Do not play the product on the road or damage place. Don't be driving that RC car in a damage place. Do not play the product in sump, sand, or mud. Well, it's amphibious, right? So didn't didn't you just say that we could do that? Somebody Google sump for me. S U M P. This is swamp. Maybe. Uh, what the fuck, sump? This one is a is a higher quality RC car controller. This is accurate turning, right? So the more you turn it, the more the car turns. The more you press the trigger, the more the car goes. It turns like the other one, but then it clicks. That means that there's buttons. So you're either gonna go, you're either gonna go like this, left, right, left. So the precise control that it just said on the box is a lie. It can go like this, but then you click it. The tracks are extremely rubbery. Normal RC cars as well, they have really thin light plastic bodies. The reason why they're like that is because it keeps the weight down. This is not nearly what that is. I feel really fucking heroic. What I can see here is you got a motor and then you got a motor at the back. High strength bumper. So you got here, it says troops war. It's the troops war, not yours. They have a really weird like decal, your typical American like truck decal. And then on the side here, it says uniform run military. That military is run by people with uniforms. There's actually a seal. Dumb child plays with his stupid vehicle. It's not doing anything. I told you it's not going to do anything. Dangerously drive the vehicle while we have a nice salt rock light in my phone. Oh fuck, that moves the table way too much. Arm test, where we drive the vehicle over my arm. I'm just trying not to go full fucking power. So we're gonna go take this thing outside. All right, so we came out to the white sand desert, as you can see. On the box it said you can drive on land, snow, and water. Uh, we got land. So that's good. We have snow, but we don't have water. So that's gonna have to wait. On the snow, which is, let's shut the cunt. 
Can it make it? Look at this one. See this invisible wall right there? Continuity change here. I flipped inside out the tracks here. So I thought maybe like the snow would be, it'd be a lot better for this side. A lot of logs or rocks here. We got some more big logs over here. And for some odd reason, some animal's been stepping on this hill. Probably a rabbit. What a useless cunt he is. Looks as if there's a problem. Oh, what the fuck? The tracks fell off probably because it's not supposed to be like that. It's still able to, to shake the tires or the tracks enough. Wow, look at him go. Oh, he's so hot when he drives in the snow. All right, we're here at the track today. Day, and Weez is gonna be running the tracks and shit. All right, he's over the first log. Come on, you can do it, cunt. Just help it a little bit. It has a hard time. Um, oh, I feel like I'm fucking seven or something. I thought that would be a little more cooler. I think I might have just broke it. See, when I drop it, it's really loud because all the weight is down here below the suspension. So the suspension isn't doing anything. I'm surprised it actually did as good as it did. The track seemed to have good grip, although it has a hard time going over too steep of things. And the problem is these tracks, once they go down like this, they dig in and then you can't fucking go anywhere. It's not really a rock crawler. I could probably mount like a camera in here. I could just cut a hole in the door and put an FBV camera in there. I guess that'd be cool. So whoever sent me this vehicle, please send me more shitty RC cars. So that's the conclusion to shitty RC car it becomes better RC car. All right, go go away. I'm gonna do things now. If you guys made it to the, this far in the video, we are actually taking off the shocks because I have a suspicion that these don't have oil in them. I think these springs are too fucking hard. There's nothing in there. Man, I would be really good at fixing things. Oh, I just stripped the fucking shit out of that. Yeah, Louise is going in different dimension.